You guys, I bought too much curriculum. I made the mistake and in today's video, I'm gonna try to fix it. Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube video. You guys, I bought too much curriculum. I made this mistake and in today's video, you guys, I'm going to try to fix this mistake. So I really was going to make today's video with me organizing my homeschool cart and when I pulled everything out and I looked at it all, I really realized that all of this curriculum does not match what my goals and what my visions is or what my vision is for our upcoming homeschool year. If you guys have not seen that video, I did make a video of my homeschooling goals and visions. And honestly, you guys, this doesn't match what I want to achieve this next upcoming homeschool year. I recently just got finished reading two homeschool books. These were actually recommendations from the Oglesby Ohan. When she posted that video, I went ahead and got these two books for me to read over the summer. And you guys, these books came right in hand because this book, The Call, the Call of the Wild and Free, I read this book, you guys, in four days. And I just, I just devoured it because I really needed to hear everything that was written in this book. And after I left reading the last page, I felt inspired and I felt encouraged and I felt like I can do this. I can do another year of homeschooling. I am doing this right. I'm not making any mistakes. I have my kids best interests at heart and you know, I need to stop doubting myself and I need to trust my mama gut and my mama instinct. And also too, I really need to trust God and this process with me and know that he's not going to leave me nor forsake me. He's gonna help me throughout this year. And honestly, you know, it's really okay. I want my homeschooling year, you guys, to be engaging and, and interactive and fun. And I wanna be present. And I really wanna, you know, aspire to do all those things. But this big stack of books is not gonna allow it to happen in my homeschool. So what I'm going to do is lay out these books. I'm gonna lay them out in three stacks. I think I'm gonna lay them out as the books that we're definitely going to be using for my daughter Brielle for her fourth grade year. I'm gonna lay out a stack of like supplemental books that we're gonna use during the summer that I'm probably not gonna incorporate in our homeschool year. And then if I have extra stuff, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out a pile for her fifth grade homeschooling year, just because I know that this curriculum can really stretch us for a couple of years, especially in some of these subjects, because I'm gonna scale back that much. So you guys, let me go ahead and get to it. All of the curriculum laid out on the pile and I'm gonna go ahead and go over it I think this is where it, I want it to be for our next homeschooling year I may even scale it back a little bit more but I think this is where I feel comfortable at and if I see throughout our homeschool year that I feel like I'm giving Brielle too much busy work or it's not really what I want I'm going to scale it back even further but I think I have a good start and I'm starting to feel a little bit comfortable. I feel like a burden has been lifted just by simply taking out all of my curriculum and dividing it into these three piles. And if any of you guys are feeling like me, I just will encourage you just to lay out all of your curriculum. Just look at everything you have and really just assess that um, with yourself just to see, hey, is this something I am going to use this year? Is this something that I possibly can sell or use our next upcoming homeschool year? Um, you guys, if you are not new here to my channel, I do want to let you know that I did sell 
one piece of my curriculum already. I sold my America Story in um, America Story 1 that I purchased for us to use with our US history just because honestly that really wasn't the approach that I wanted to go with US history after I made that video. And when I seen Tasha from Tasha Pivots, she introduced her new history curriculum. You guys, I went ahead and I purchased and I pre-ordered her history curriculum after I sold my other um, curriculum or whatever, just because I really feel like her approach to history is possibly gonna be the one that I wanna take in our homeschool. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around and walk you through all of the three pals that I just okay, made. you guys, so the first thing that I have on my pal that we're actually going to be using for our upcoming homeschool year <laughs> is going to be this amazing Africa Heritage Pack by Amber O'Neill Johnston. She made this beautiful um, heritage pack that includes all the resources for us to do a continent study, which is Africa. So I'm really excited to start this. I actually made a video of all the resources and things like that for our Africa unit study. So I'm really excited to start off our year with this. This is actually a 36 week unit study. However, I think we're gonna try to get this done by Thanksgiving. I want to stretch it out. I want to have fun with this one. So that is my goal to have this one finished by before our Christmas break. Now we do have the history that I talked to you about, which is the one from Tasha Pivots, which is the Fevrer, Fevrer history, which is the African American United States history. And this is grades two to five. I don't actually have the history just yet because I pre-ordered it. She will have the history released, I believe, on August the 2nd. So I'm so excited to use it. But I just went ahead and just printed off the cover and put it in this three ring binder just to prepare for it. So I'm really excited for when it does release. This is, curriculum is for grades two to five. So it's also a 36 week curriculum. I anticipate in us pushing this one to our fifth grade year as well. So I'm going to be doing these two histories this school year. So... I first thought I was going to do two maths, you guys, this year, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just start off by just using the Singapore Dimensions math. I don't want to overcomplicate things and I want to keep it simple, so we're going to just start off with this. And if this Singapore Dimensions math does not work for some reason or Brielle doesn't like the flow of this, I do have the Abeka Arithmetic 4 to fall back on, but as far as just us going into this homeschool year, I think I'm just going to go ahead, just stick with one math, try it out, see it through, and keep it simple. So I chose the Singapore Dimensions math. Now I have the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts Level 4. This is going to be the language arts we are going to be using. I'm thinking about taking out the personal reader and just using the World Bi Bibliography Reader. And just because we're gonna be reading so many books, I think I might not let Brielle read this book along with it when we do, when it does tell us to do our independent reading and our reading, we may just pick other books we like. So it just depends, but I do have all of the stuff for the Language Arts Level 4 for us to do. Now I wanted to, <laughs> sorry, you guys see my feet. I wanted to go ahead and incorporate fix it grammar into the language arts just because when Brielle did her testing this school year, she did test, she tested really good on everything to really be honest. However, she, I seen she just needed a little bit help with her language and usage and structure. So I wanted us just to do fix it grammar because it does, it is really simple and we're just really going to be doing one sentence a day and we're going to be editing that sentence and she's going to be able to get familiar with all the different parts of speech and within fix it grammar she does have extra vocabulary you guys so i think i'm just going to use this for our extra grammar practice and vocabulary now i only did two sciences you guys last year and i think this year i'm not going to set myself up for failure I'm just going to prepare to do just two sciences, which is going to be the human body and mammals. Before this video, I asked Brielle what science she wanted to do if she had to choose, and she chose these two. So I want to set myself up for success, and I want to leave room and opportunity for us to explore and for us to learn about different things that we're interested in at that time. So I only have these two um, science is actually scheduled. Now, how I do school is I alternate between 
history and science. So since I'm starting off our first quarter doing our um, Africa Amazing and our history, I will do our second quarter by either adding in the science or replacing it. So that's typically how I do it. So I think all of this curriculum right here, you guys, is what I'm going to go ahead and start off our school year with. Okay, and now this pal right here, I'm calling this our summer pal. So in summertime, when we finish our homeschooling year, I think I'm going to allow Brielle to use all of these books that I have, which is the Good and the Beautiful Creative Writing Notebook. I have a logic book. I have Wordly Wise. Now I do have the Becca Math 4, and like I said, if the Singapore doesn't work, I do have one to fall back on. However, if the Singapore does work and Brielle really likes this, what I'm thinking about doing is just using the extra sheets in this math book like I'm doing right now this summer for her to practice the concepts that she already has learned and reviewed. So this will not go to waste. So this will probably be Brielle's summer. I do have the Evan Moore spelling because I thought I was going to replace the spelling in the Good and the Beautiful level four with this one. But you guys, I'm gonna give the spelling a fighting chance this year. I'm not even gonna put this in the fold in my bin to start off with. I'm gonna give the spelling a fighting chance. If it doesn't work, then I will pull this because I wanna keep it just nice and simple and yeah. So now this over here, you guys, is I have type in one that I purchased our last school year that I never used. I actually have Brielle trying typing.com right now and she really, really likes this. So I'm just gonna hold on to this, you guys. It doesn't hurt. Um, so yeah, I do have the typing one from the Good and the Beautiful that I bought last school year that we just happened to not use. I have energy, which is another science I was thinking about doing. I have water in our world. And I also have arthropods. Now, you guys, I think what I'm going to do is, like I said, start off with two sciences. And these sciences might be the sciences we will do for her fifth grade year. So that's less money I have to spend for our fifth grade curriculum because I already have science. <laughs> if I look at it like that. Now, if we do finish these other two sciences, which is the mammals and the human body early, then I will come over here and figure out what unit Brielle wants to do next. But I want to set us up for success. And I think this is everything we're going to be starting our homeschool year with. Okay, you guys, it's time to clean up. So I have these three, um, what are they, magazine files that I actually use to house most of my stuff on my bookshelf that I have in here in my office. So what I'm going to do is just put away all the stuff that I'm not going to use in the right file and all the curriculum we are going to use. I think I'm going to use this latch mate that I got from Michael's just to put our curriculum in at the top of our homeschool cart so I can start getting things organized and getting things all ready for our upcoming homeschool year. So let me go ahead and get started, you guys. Okay, you guys, I am all done organizing all of the curriculum that we are going to be using for our upcoming homeschool year. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just so crazy that I feel like I'm doing this or I've done this twice already, but 
I just want to let you guys know if you are in my boat and you did have to make changes before your homeschooling year, just know you're not the only one. And just know that it's okay. It's okay if you start off your homeschool year and you make changes then. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, like I really feel like a weight has been lifted off of me. I really feel like what I put in that latch mate for us to start our homeschooling year is attainable. And I really don't feel overwhelmed. I feel like I can do it. And I feel, I just feel lighter. And I'm really excited about where our upcoming homeschool year is gonna take us. And yeah, as always you guys, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please let me know if you are enjoying content like this on my channel. And yeah, as always, I will see everybody in my next one. Bye.